and characters, we got Falcon and Pit. Oh, okay. yo. Okay, so very early on, I wanted to be a Pit secondary. Iris, I, I think this character is slept on, but still very unexciting. It certainly is. I think a lot of people just get it bowed down with a... Yo! We're not doing the 3-2-1, we're just going straight into it. Pit immediately does the call-out on the fall-through platform with the arrow. I love that. There you go. I think a lot of people just disparage this character for being, quote-unquote, too, you know, too fair, too honest. But that doesn't mean this character doesn't have the sauce. I question the decision to go for normal Pit over Dark Pit, especially uh, on Battlefield, but... you, I believe this character is fair and honest until you are Bowser trying to recover. That's... <laughs> point well taken. I experienced that. Almost got the knee off of that landing air. Yeah. N landing near knee is definitely a thing. And like, when it misses, I'm so happy. Yeah, H moves just doing the stomp a ledge. It goes below ledge, so if you get the two frame, yay. And you're still ready to ledge trap. Uh, Falcon and K rule are the characters who just like, always go for that. It's, it's a good move. Goes off stage. We've seen H moves go for it. Stomp at ledge. Down air. And that loud cheer you hear behind us. U Chicago, of course, with the home field advantage. Yeah. Uh, this being U Chicago. Yes. Yeah, he still hasn't taken nary a hit on this new stock. So we can see some pit coming. And pit, uh, on fast fallers, you do get a lot out of air to air nair. You get more out of it than normal. Like, Nair Fair dash attack. It's really sick looking. Retreating Fair is also quite good as well. Yeah. Uh, short hop, delay a little bit Fair, still auto cancels. So between that and down tilt, you keep a tight wall. And necessary those are the two really cool things about Pit, I think. A necessary tech from each move there. The Ether almost getting him off. Goes oh. high with the Falcon dive. And another cool thing about Pit, Nair always pushes forward. So super active. You can just hit recoveries with it. Falcon being one of them. So that might come up. Yes. that SD though UIC finally on the board no! Hello. real high that's, with a Falcon dive I mean that's that's exciting but also it didn't take the stock people are popping off maybe a little bit too hard they tell me no oh fair into a jump read oh yep and uh, H moves went high avoided the very scary situation as you can see pit can kill at zero against well bad recoveries that's Kind of one of the pit niches. Right on the other side, that rapid jab in the wrong direction, and B reverses that Falcon dive. So H moves loves this up B. It's kind of fun to watch. It is, and it's a great way to get your opponent from just that shield habit that so many people develop against a character that can combo you at mid or oh! And the second, and both stocks so far being taken with a weak dare. Uh. Oh, oh, uh -oh. arrows. And H moves has recovered high the last three times. He's getting away with it, but not forever. Not forever at all. And this is a combo starter. A single up air and the pop off is legendary. <laughs> Landing back air though into the gentleman. What a gentleman. Runs back and not quite gonna get the up smash, but the dash attack to punish that. All right, 64 combos. I remember I remember the beginning of Ultimate, people were like, wow, Falcon's like 64 with these combos, and people just weren't air dodging. I mean, he can play a lot more vertically in this game in general than Force mechanics would allow for, but that being said, low recovery, keeping safe, and the fair absolutely does it. Although that fair from Ye, ironically enough, giving UIC something to cheer about. And Ye's not out of this yet. As we saw, she almost killed at zero. Like, she could very easily kill at zero again. And here's where it starts. Yes, and the jump catch! Another Nair. He's and can he hit the up B? Oh, yep. And that's it. Wow. What Don't a sleep reversal. on pit. That stock going to be <laughs> eviscerated at 43%. Just had no real estate to work I'm with. I'm telling you, pit having, a, pit having a bunch of jumps, good movement, and a Nair that hits them out all the time can lead to really easy edge guards against bad recoveries. And Absolutely. Falcon's on that list. Pit, pit is a character who's honest until he's suddenly not. And yeah. 
the other thing right that's there. pretty the other thing that's pretty cool is against low movement speed characters. As you see, these are all like you have to abuse a bad part of another character, which is kind of like Pitt's definition of being honest, but like low fair auto cancels and down tilt. Some characters absolutely cannot get in on that and it's crazy. No, they can, uh, if you have no movement options to get around, if you're off stage, which significantly eliminates your options unless you want to go for side special, then that just becomes so much more difficult to deal with. Yeah, and then Dark Pit side special. I think there are three potentially dishonest things about Pit, which is the wall, the offstage gimps, and side B at ledge on Smash. That was normal Pit, not Dark Pit. Yes. So. It, the third dishonest thing is not available to normal Pit, which yes. is side B on ledge at Smashville. <laughs> Although the angle might be slightly more favorable on Battlefield, just with a higher ceiling, but... So, again, I actually think Pit Yoshi is, like, slight Yoshi favor, but not almost even. If you are a Pit Optimist, it's even. Mm -hmm. If a, you're a Yoshi Optimist, it's a body bag, but I think that's short-sighted. Pit has a sword, and Yoshi does not like swords. Pit has a good wall with fair, down tilt, and nair, and Yoshi dislikes that. One thing that might play into Yoshi's favor, particularly in this matchup against a character that loves to edge guard, is Yoshi's airspeed. Oh, uh, another thing is Yoshi, reco Yoshi recovers fine against Pit. It's neutral that's actually kind of tricky. But if Riff goes super aggro, he's going to get hits, and Yoshi's advantage state against Pit is strong. So, mainly because the jump doesn't go anywhere. Like, if Pit tries to jump out of stuff, I might still hit you. And Riff going pink Yoshi... I, I'd like to say in reference to me, but in reference to uh, uh, breast cancer awareness. Yes. Oh, he gets the two hits bare. Doesn't go into the F tilt. Goes into the nair trying to push her off stage. Less damage, more positioning. Which is with the fair in the nair, excuse me, that dash attack not going to lead into anything and yeah. so much end lag to contend with. Uh, nair sets up tech chases. You can either commit to the tech chase right away or try to go for the jab lock. He looked for the jab lock first. Oh, wanted to go for the down air. Yeah, uh, armored through, managed to air dodge back to ledge. That was scary. But like, yeah, he's doing it. Yep, that's... Battlefield. Battlefield's doing its thing. And can Rift take this stock without losing one? It's getting scary. Catches with the egg, though. That one hop. Oh, yep. Wow, people are people are going insane. Rift flip, nodding. Yeah, yeah. I took a stock. Did that. That P I love the IRL peace sign that came out from his well <laughs> just to match the victory screen. So, yeah. Ye went, Ye went three stocks and nearly four at that... Fantastic showing for Pit. Certainly, and this is a character that all too often just gets slept on, ignored, but... Yeah. As someone who wanted to secondary Pit for a long time, I, I want more respect for the character. Certainly. And we've got some, like, unusual picks from the UIC roster. Like, Link is not especially... Link was super common when Salem got, like, second with him at a regional or something, and everyone's like, Link's top five, and then, like, reality set in. Right. And, like, Link's pretty good. So, I don't know. He just, like dipped in popularity. I'm happy to see him. I don't know how many prominent American and Link players there are. I know Riff, why are you not pink anymore? Riff with a shrug. He's a man of mystery. There we go. Gonna be oh, I actually love this matchup. I know uh, people say sword bad for... I feel this matchup is just really fun. It looks like it. It's something where you can't just drift in and out and you get rewarded for playing like a Yoshi should. Wanted to go for the fair, though. And that's a zero to death from Rifflip. Only 40 or so seconds into the match. Nair on the platform into the falling fair. You got you can't poke your head above that ledge. It's terrifying. What a string from Rifflip already capitalizing this, and that momentum is going to be tidal waving into his favor. And yeah, Almost now 12 to 11 stocks. Uh, U Chicago is officially reversed. Ooh. Yep. Uh, back air tries to extend advantage with the rising egg. Rising egg is super good for advantage. Goes up the spin attack and drifts and an, past the ledge. And an SD, in, SD into pop off, bad form, but this is cruise. There is, there is. There is no rules here. All is fair in Love War and Cruise. There's a bomb there. 
And the bomb, the bomb mind games are hilarious. You can hold on to the bomb and use a lot of B moves with Yoshi, and suddenly you've got weird neutral. But right or as you can that. throw it up and just play without the bomb for a while, and he can either blow it up or like... But he's an end lag when he blows it up. There's so many mind games in this matchup, I find it, like, might be my favorite to play. Right as that shield was dwindling throughout the spinning attack and finally managed to evaporate one stock from Red Flip. Oh, oh. I could have sworn that was two uppers. Poof got out at just the right moment. F tilt to get him back off stage. Returns back at the whim of his opponent. Yump. Uh, Fair is such a threat from Yoshi that Yoshi gets a lot more egg lays than you'd think for such a slow command grab. Yep. It doesn't kill just yet, but. Hey! And Riflip has taken his sixth stock against the record holder, Poof, who... Poof? Poof? What was it? Well, that was his fourth stock, but... Yeah, but... Fourth stock taken, against but... The pre against the record oh, holder yes. before Hugh, who took eight stocks. Mm -hmm. So obviously, he is no slouch, and yet Riflip has taken a bunch of extra stocks on him. Yeah, mitigates the damage. Only half the amount of stocks taken and already into this. Just rolling through, still with three people in the hole, but now oh, UIC's my. ace... See, Being I think forced to throw it out a bit early, it is here's Panda the, Bear. Here's the thing. Uh, Panda has a very good record against me, but I am the worst against Villager in the world. I think Riff is better at this matchup than I am. I think so. Um, oh, and he's going pink Yoshi. Thank you very much. I'm gonna... I have a little bias now. I hope these screams are picking up on the microphone. Jeez. If he, if he actually wins this set, I can imagine that I want a set against Panda Bear. I mean, put him in his shoes. Riff going back to the pink Yoshi as well. He's very aware. So aware. Oh, boy. Wait, there's no timer. How can he time him out? Rapid jab near the Lloyd Rocket. Not perhaps the smartest move. Uh, yeah, this is the percent where Fair stops being unsafe on hit. So, he actually gets, uh, at this percent, he actually gets fair F tilt. So, yeah, he can do any aerial he wants. Oh, that was a fantastic tech. He would have gotten two more. If you tech on platforms, it might stop Yoshi from going ham. <laughs> I like that read. Wouldn't have killed, but make a statement. Oh, he got, stu he got stuck in the end lag. He could have, he fast fell and then he didn't auto cancel. But if he auto canceled, he would have had like up smash, up air, up tilt. Damn. Oh, he read the roll in and with the F smash, that bowling ball is going to send him right to the bottom. And what a tech read. Yeah. Oh, no. He got hit by the super duper weak hit of tree. I didn't know that hit existed. Right to that side blast zone. You could see he was trying to DI towards the corner. Yes. Although oh, so he gets rid of that with an air. Those been... And Riflip has taken yet another stock, putting in a lot of work. Yum. And even if Riflip is unable to just take the game, if I can get another stock as Riflip, knowing that I have three more in the back, I'd consider this a victory for sure. I mean, he's already pulled his weight, but let's see if he can pull even more weight. Yoshi's pretty strong. He had baby Mario on his back like a whole game. Space and... Riflip has entered bear mode. Bear mode is a nice mode. I mean, right now it... Right now it leads to forward tilt. It's... Yeah. Oh! Conserve that. Had he to go for the second air dodge. Okay. If he air dodged diagonally, he would have been hit by the first bowling ball. That air dodge up was genius. And once again, Panda Bear had the roll read, just was a bit too far inward. Oh, he wanted to be reverse it, but then didn't. And that is... He didn't have the plus frames. Oh. Ah! No. That time, though, the air dodging was the only option he could go for, and immediately waiting with the turnips. So you actually saw Riff went for something cheeky there? We all do it. You hit the nair, and like, it's a weak nair or whatever, but it's not a nair that's even remotely plus. If they press a button, they're gonna hit you, but you're just hoping they're confused, and then you land with up air and get three uppers. Okay. It's not really a combo, but it's a move that puts you next to them, and in the position for up air. It's so cheeky, and if they press a button, we will get hit, but like, if they're shock, we're, we're having fun. <laughs> so, this time... You Chicago's MVP from last round. Hugh is coming out. He's going to be moving back to the Pokemon trainer. The 11 stock holder himself. Mm. Although, to be fair, who knows how many more stocks Panda Bear would have rampaged through if there just weren't any more to be taken. Panda Bear does have Ned experience, but this is a very different Pokemon trainer. Just going to ride that Lloyd Rocket 
all the way to the right. Tour guide to the underworld. Three, Shout out to you, Gio. Two, one, go! I love the round start dash attack, but he was ready for it with a parry. As soon as that's coming. Ooh. Trying to get... Trying to get these windows on Panda's ledge stalls, but he doesn't quite have it. And I know Panda likes to go for wall hop fair, especially against smaller characters. So as long as Squirtle's out, that might be the option if he has an at ledge. Huh. Pushing him off platform made him unsafe? Interesting, Nair. Very interesting. And tries to Nair at ledge, doesn't quite get it. He... Panda crossed up too hard. Could have gotten a bear, but he didn't realize. Jumps from the ledge this time up air to cover himself as he returns, but these four fair, fair. Every hit counts. When you're a stock up in a crew like this, absolutely. I'm tree the ledge. Yep. Well timed roll. And this is a this is a character Panda has a lot of experience against. But Ivysaur still has big buttons and early kills. Yeah, solar beam. I love PM Ivysaur. God. Now you just... Now I'm just sighing, guys. Thanks. No but there we go. The down air from you. Finally getting rid of that and first that stock. That wasn't a two-frame down air. That wasn't like... That was a hard read on when Panda would let go of ledge. Yeah, that was a sweet spot. And we saw that sweet spot get nerfed in a recent patch, but... Or I think the sweet spot got smaller and the sour right. spot got weaker. But the sweet spot still hits like a truck. Yes. And the whole move is still the same size, it's just more Sour Spot. It's a lot harder to aim, but managed to find it. And this is Charizard, this is Hughes Bread and Butter, and it's a way to take more percent without being at kill percent himself. Up tilt. And three stocks to one, this is doable. This is dwobble. And his parries on Slingshot are on point. There are receiver turns, yeah. but the up air through the platform. Again, uns things are unsafe on hit early. That's just how this game do. Oh, it's so active. It's still so active. Tree counterplay. We've got it. He, he has, has those. The technology. I don't know if Panda was trying to go for one of those pocketed razor leaves to set up into something. But certainly would have put, wouldn't put it past it. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool things about... Uh, pocket is you can use projectiles as tech chases when the, the actual characters who own them couldn't. Yes. Like, you can tech chase with Leaf into whatever you want, whereas Ivysaur has the end lag of Leaf. Like, in neutral. Zard gonna come out, though, this time a bit earlier, only at 70%. Bing, bing. He wanted to go for the back air. Ooh, weak turnip, strong turnip. That's the luck of a villager main. We think that up smash is going to be met with a back throw, and all of a sudden, Hugh has to play a lot more careful. Has panned up to hyper sense, but does not want to get hasty. If you can get this, oh, no, no, no. there you go. An immediate pop off from the East Chicago crowd, but a very calm looking Hugh as he carefully secures out that stock. I I think I think the colleges did all the commentating for us right there. I mean, you, I'm sure that picked up. You could hear. You can hear the excitement in the room. I'm not too familiar with the pickup pattern of my mic, but yeah, they heard that. <laughs> you Absolutely. Could see it. You could see it. The player cams were just making that visible. Panda, you know, still managed to take, I think, what was that? Three or four socks, but. So, did his work in, on paper, but if this is your best player and, you know, he's unable yeah. to just bulldoze through some stocks? Taking three stocks from their highest seated, well, seated, from their highest placed crew, valued crew member, like, that's. That's more than three stocks, technically. That's a victory. That's a complete victory. Crews that... are an animal. An animal I'm bad at, but an interesting animal. The Boo Tag. Indeed. I know Boo is an Olimar player, so interesting to see how... I don't Trainer believe... Olimar. I don't believe that's Boo. Oh, is that not... Oh. I'm terrible this... with faces, but... I don't... Hmm. <laughs> I just looked at the tag. I didn't even bother to look at the face cam. I, you're probably because correct. The, because of this, I'm going to be calling him Boo a few times, and it's going to make me sound so dumb. It's going to put both of us off, believe me. Yeah. I I know who Boo... That's not Boo. That I know is, what Boo looks like. No, huh? that is definitely... That yeah, is definitely that's not Boo. Okay, All right, this is the Mega Man you were talking about. Yep. 
Uh, I don't know much about Mega Man Trainer, but Mega Man's an incredibly good character with, like, a pretty even matchup spread. So, you Chicago, two stocks ahead. With all of the cheering, it's still two stocks. Like, this is... This is Dwobble. Yu is going to start off with Squirtle in this particular matchup. There's not too much he can do. Landing fair is pretty much the only thing that consistently hits a Squirtle. That isn't one of your specials. Oh, immediately trying to push into the space with the uh, withdraw. Thank you. What is the... It, that is it. It is withdraw, yes. Yeah. The shell move. Yep. Uh, that is super... It's less on... Hello. Uh, letting go of Leaf Shield right on someone's shield, crazy unsafe. If they jump right before shooting it, it's actually less unsafe somehow? Weird character. Oh, the platform coming in to save him. I think he could have made it back okay. with the air dodge. But... Here's a... uh, okay, here's actual... Uh, what? Oh, no. Messed up the lock. And he was ready to tech at that time. That's cool. I mean, He's learned his lesson. Tech the squirt. Yes, if you're going to be given a second lease on life as he was just there gonna have to make the most of it so i actually know something about how this stage works i'm gonna try and predict when the platforms come next time Ooh, if I, the game goes I, on. I think you've seen the twitter post as well haven't you yeah yep. yeah i have as soon as the back as soon as the background excuse me stops moving and oh like wait it. we're gonna see it now so you see the background doing its thing when it stops doing its thing there's like four or five seconds and then the platforms come in round and round and ready and platforms there it is Knowledge! Magic! <laughs> You're psyched. I, I didn't until like a week ago. Yeah. Tweet! What was that? Season Zone? I don't know. I know I follow them is all. Hello, back air! There you go. And okay, the, the cheeky rush stuff on the start of stocks. Sometimes you just delete stocks that way. I One think everyone's I caught wise to it because Mega Man's in Smash 4 did it too. Probably. One thing I haven't seen from this particular Mega Man is going for a bunch of Z drop stuff. He saw a pull. A Z drop out of shield is incredible, but right now he's. Like, it's his choice whether he wants to use it as a SD. If he uses it as a projectile, it's obviously not in his hand. So he has to play a little bit more reserved when he's trying to go for the Z drop. So it's it's really a choice thing. There's some dirty up tilt follow ups that you can go for off of it, but. Oh, yeah. Utility against smaller characters, especially ones that's evasive as Squirtle. It's a frame four option behind you. Sometimes you are not in the position for it. You have to like fiend for that shield. But like, it's up to the Mega Man. On top of the platform, oh. the Crash Bomber at the ledge. Yeah, it, it hit Squirtle shield and then just didn't. It can hit invincible people, and then, like, on Angel Platform Invincibility, you get to set the pace, which is really nice. Yeah, it really latches on, and just, it's, it's pesky. Yeah, it doesn't hit shield, but it hits invincibility, so, like, yeah, that's, it's a good end of stock stall. Between that and just placing down Rush on central stage to just burn some of the invincibility time, Mega Man can be quite good against invincible opponents just waiting that invincibility out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we got double up air. That is an incredible amount of damage. People forget that this, like, is that like, yeah! hey! And Hugh manages to hold on. Possibly the MVP of every set so far. You joke, but I mean, he's been putting in work today. I'm not joking. I think he might be the MVP of every he single crew be, match right? he's been in. Dropped on there, and this time he's inviting the cheers from his U Chicago brethren. Oh, he's he's cheesing. He loves this. He's enjoying the moment. He is the hero. And they're saying one more. They think they can get three. Hugh thinks he can get another three stocks. We'll see if the opponent lets him. Hmm. This is tough. This is a four stock lead at the moment. Three stock lead. Three stock, okay. No, it is four stock lead. Yeah, yes. it was seven to four before the end of the graphic, but yes. like. I'm getting hungry. I even commentate my stomach. <laughs> Hopefully the rumble doesn't doesn't translate. I, I'm not an anime character. Audible stomach rumbles are not my deal. Not audible for the mic to pick up anyway. So what did you think about that mid percent combo? <laughs> oh, blush. I can't even blush. I'm... 
I can't blush on command, at least. I swear I have it some. Can't think of it. Yeah. I cannot actually remember a moment in my life where I blushed. I don't think... I don't know if... I mean, it, it is involuntary when it happens, but I don't. I can't think of a moment where I blushed. Yeah, oh, we're, no, that's a very, we're emotionless, stone cold killers. I'm gonna be thinking about that for the rest of the set. Thanks. <laughs> oh, we got Bowser. Now my loyalties are immediately switched. I love this character, and he's using my costume, which is the most common costume. So like, yeah. Oh, there we go. So, uh, Bowser Pokemon Trainer, I don't know, I feel this is a bad matchup for Bowser, but also Bowser can just sometimes murder these little animals, so. Like, I, a single jump catch into fair, like, if you read a jump off stage into a fair, that's it. And if he catches you before he makes the switch to Charizard, he can feasibly kill at around 70 with some normals, which is... I like the SD tech, by the way, going into Squirtle there. Two, one. And Squirtle is a pretty good pick here. Squirtle has the movement advantage by far, and Bowser's kind of high commitment. But there is a point where you switch to Ivysaur to get the two-frame. But neutral, Squirtle. There we go. Goes for the out throw and meets Kick. the withdraw with the bear. Yeah. Good call out on the withdraw. What did the two feet say to the Ivysaur? Not today. I don't know what the I don't know what the pun here is, so. I'm just thinking of, like, movie quotes or something. Well, I was kind of... I had something prepared if there was a follow-up, but there wasn't, so let's just save it for later. Knock, that knock. Who's there? Bowser back air. Bowser back air who? That down tilt is really, like, deceptively good. Oh! And Hugh takes an immediate stock, only taking 31. Okay, and the T-Door chat from the crowd. <laughs> I didn't realize T-Door got this far inland. I didn't either, but... There you have it. Oh, and that's... Oh, that was an up air or something. Back air, though, will send Bowser to 45. And going to recover high. Fun fact, if you don't have enough time to get, like, a big aerial off those two hit snares, you can get a side B. And it looks really cool, too. I mean, the Whirling Fortress is... Whirling Fortress is very safe, uh, unsafe if you miss, so I'm scared to go for it. preventative tool, but... No, I'm talking about comboing after nair. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. You can do it, but I, I wouldn't. They're almost sending it this is getting the super scary and the high recovery from Bowser has so much lag that he still gets the punish He's got to save his jump and go to ledge or just hit him in the face. I would have gotten hit oh, legs, though. The armor coming in clutch There we go, but that's Squish. gonna do it. Yeah, that's it. Wow, no. really? I I He's eat alive. my words uh, And now that's it Still a JV2 But you absolutely or technically a JV... JV2, yeah. No, wait. He was a stock... He oh, was a stock uh, ahead. How does this work on JV1. Battles? That is a JV1. That is a JV1. Yeah. The world... I, I, don't, I hesitate to say world's first. He is like, at zero stocks with zero percent. JV1. Yes. Zero effective stocks. And Heist has yet again switched up his hat arrangement. <laughs> now there are no... Now there are no visible moms on the camera. No <laughs> mothers to be seen. Heist is no longer maternal. He is cruel right now. And it is probably the Spice Climbers, which we have seen in every crew and single so far on stream. Yeah, if you're in the room, by the way, and you don't have earplugs, just just go get those from wherever you can because UIC so, is on match point. And the Spice Climbers are here, and what, what Heist really, really wants is not only to zig -a zig ah but to take two stocks and really assert this dominance at the end. Now that's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one, go. Uma. Oh, he's got sub. He's got sub D6. Ah, oh, he messed up the spike. I was gonna say this place would have gotten raucous if we ended this with a zero to death. I have seen him land those in training mode. He just doesn't always get them in matches. Oh, and he's got those. Uh, desynced Ice Breath into Ice Breath? That's so nasty. There, and as he gets the Ice Breath in the wrong direction... 
Whirling Fortress, but he sends both of them to the left. That's key for Heist. Ooh, Tech Chase with a little glacier does nothing, but hey. Ooh! Okay. I see you. This Bowser has won over my heart many times over. My name was called. I don't understand. Thank you. Dash attack to get him on top of the platform. The oh. up air only can hit Nana. But also hit Popo on shield to keep himself safe. Ooh, another high up B. Well, I, I've i always slept on those, but like he's timing it well. He's timing it very well. They are menaces if you manage to get them through the platforms too. Eh, they, they never kill. They just keep you safe. And against someone with good ledge trapping like Ice Climbers, because this is dangerous. Oh. We had a shield though. And he manages to hit Popo dropping shield. Nana, with a little bit of a delay, actually saved her buttons. Rage hey. Bowser not to be underestimated, and with the back air, and a signs taunt. of life. This is... Oh, watch out for Nana. 22% off of the command ground. Uh, yep. And the trade up the up air. And you, Chicago, has defended their home turf, turf in the crew battle. The pop-offs are real. Well UIC deserved. putting in work and taking out every other school. This is... I'm sad that Northwestern didn't really see the final two, but, you know.